Hello everyone! In this quick start tutorial, we'll be going over a basic startup procedure for the Mirage 2000. A quick thing to note is that the Mirage spawns with the wheel chocks in place, and they will need to be removed by using the F10 menu. Okay, let's check to make sure that the throttle is in the cutoff position by pushing the engine cutoff button. We'll also go ahead and remove the pilot. The default keybind for this is right shift P. Main battery switch on. Fuel boost pumps on. Fuel shutoff switch. Opening the starter cover also turns on the starter fuel pump. Press and hold the engine start switch for two seconds. The cover will then close automatically. Enable the parking brake. Watch for engine RPM to rise above 11% and then advance the throttle to idle. Perform a quick control wipeout with the stick and rudder. Autopilot test cover open and switch up. Radar to preheat. External lights as desired. Green radio on. Red radio on. The engine RPM is stabilized, so we'll go ahead and begin INS alignment. INS mode selector switch to ALCN. The alignment light will flash on the display of the PCN. Press the validate key on the PCN. We can check the progress of the alignment by selecting STS on the INS Operation Mode switch. Backup ADI switch on. Pitot heat on. Audio warning on. Emergency hydraulic switch auto. Silence the warning. Autopilot test switch neutral and cover closed. Fly-by-wire test cover open and switch up. VTB power on. HUD power on. Uncage the backup ADI by left-clicking and then using the mouse scroll wheel. tac to transmit and receive. ILS on. Jammer priority radar. Jammer RWR and DDM on. Countermeasures to semi-automatic. Program 1. Radar IFF power switch, two clicks to the right. Set the bingo fuel selector to something that isn't ridiculous. Fly-by-wire test switch neutral and closed. Click the autopilot master button to reset the autopilot. Use the ground crew menu to remove the wheel chocks. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. The INS alignment is now complete. Copy. INS mode selector wheel switch to NAV. INS operation mode switch to normal. Next, we need to lower the canopy so we can reach the handle. Canopy lever aft to lower the canopy. Right click on the canopy handle. Canopy lever all the way forward to lock the canopy. We are now ready to disengage the parking brake. Note that the aircraft will roll at idle thrust if no brakes are applied. Activate the nose wheel steering. Note that this blue light will illuminate to indicate that it is on. We are now ready for taxi and takeoff, which I will cover in the next video.